Hello Taurus and welcome to your June predictions reading. Let's go ahead and have a look at what June has in store for my Taurus. Hope you're all doing really well and staying safe and gorgeous as always. First up we have Prince of Cups. That would be the Knight of Cups in the Rider Waite Tarot. So the Prince of Cups is the third fastest horse in the tarot. First it's the swords, wands, and then cups, and then pentacles. So the cups are a matter of months, okay? So something that is um, emotionally fulfilling for you, okay, is coming at you possibly in the next month or so. And it's perfect because we're talking about next month anyway, which is in a few days. So this could very well be something that's coming towards you in June. Now, sometimes the Prince of Cups can be a romantic person around you that's feeling your vibes and they kind of like what they feel from you. However, the Knight of Cups is also a sign from the universe, your guides and your angels. And for some of you ancestors popped into my intuition, so ancestors, um, that something is coming at you that's going to make you feel very, very happy. Something that you may have been working on for the last few months is manifesting. Next up, strength, Leo energy. So the strength card is telling us that we are taming our fears within, okay? So, you know, obviously we've got Archangel Gabriel as the character in um, most of these major arcana, unless it's the Hermit or what was the other one? I think the Magician. However, with the Strength card, it's really saying that you have exactly what it takes in order for you to move forward in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest that you've been working on that is actually going to be very fulfilling for you Taurus. So definitely strength is a great indicator that you know your fears are going to be set aside and you can move forward positively. Prince of Swords, quicker than you thought. This is that fastest horse in the tarot that I was talking about. It's Swords Energy. Swords are all about the mental realm. So it's all about our thoughts and what we're trying to configure. So we've been pondering something. We've been working on our fears with strength. I can see that. We're taming that beast within. And with Prince of Swords, it's really some news that's coming at you that is surprising, sometimes challenging. However, let me clarify and give you some more info in regards to what that Prince of Swords is bringing you in the next couple of days, next week maximum, because ones are weeks. So we have the bridge. The bridge is a connector card. It means that we're, we're actually going to connect to a different aspect in our life. Something else is coming towards us. Something that we've been trying to piece together like a puzzle, okay? To do with our feelings, emotions, wanting to um, make things a lot more peaceful and calm. In our lives and with the bridge it's saying that we've come to some kind of conclusion in regards to this we know exactly which way we need to go because the bridge it's only going to take you across in one direction or the other either we go back or either we go forward and I feel with you Taurus the only way is forward we don't go back Next up, we have the elves. And for some of you, I feel this could be elders around you or somebody that's been giving you guidance and advice. Others of you, this is your spirit guides and your angels that have been giving you downloads, possibly in dreams, 
that is helping you figure things out. It's like waking up with an epiphany. Have you ever woken up and thought, you know what, I know exactly how to deal with this situation. Well, with strength being taming your fears and the owls, I feel that this is exactly what is happening. You have a lot of support around you, whether it is family, friends, social network, uh, workplace, or even your um, ethereal team, the unseen realm that is actually helping you um, problem solve things and brainstorm and, and sit down and write pros and cons in regards to some aspect of your life. Now, Prince of Swords is bringing you the sky. Very interesting because they're both sharp cards and they're both quick cards. So Taurus, I feel in the month of June, I'm going to clarify with some more cards. However, from here, I can see that you're figuring out that it's time to make a quick cut in regards to something in your life. What are we going to cut out because the sky is a quick cut and the Knight of Swords is in a matter of days. So, and June is about to hit us in a matter of days. So let me know what this means. Something in your life, Taurus, that has not been serving you well, it needs to go. So the sky is all about cutting things that don't serve you out. And the Knight of Swords is coming to tell you something about that. And of course, I've got Madame Medusa and her oracle cards. And let's see, Ooh, they just decided to fall out. There's two, and I'll pick one more from the top. I don't know what it is, so let's see. Strength and wisdom, how beautiful. Strength and wisdom, emotionally fulfilling. It's a bridge that's going to take you across to a much better way of feeling about yourself, about dealing with something in your life that may have been fit making you feel down. Okay, the Knight of, Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups really wants you to be happy. The Knight of Cups is an energy that's sweeping through saying, you've been dealing with this for months, Taurus. It's time to put yourself first and cross that bridge because that is the wisest thing that you can do at this time. It may take some strength. However, you have what it takes. Taming your beast, your fears within, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, people around you, co-workers, friends, family, children, parents, aunts, uncles, siblings may have been telling you, you're going to be all right, Taurus. Listen to that still little voice within and follow through with the next step. Now, I don't know what Madame Medusa is going to say, so let's have a look what the clarifier is. <laughs> Follow your intuition. How is that? Follow your intuition. Listen to that inner voice within Taurus. You know exactly what you need to do. You know exactly which path to take. You know that it's time to cross that bridge in your life and follow through with what makes you fulfilled and happy. I love that. All right. And lastly and not leastly, if that's the word, we have darkness looms on the horizon. Now, I love this card, just saying, because this is saying that you can avoid a lot of mishaps in your life by listening to that inner voice within, okay? By using the sky and making a very good decision because the knight of swords is very clever the knight of swords is um, the messenger for the king of swords 
He goes around, finds out details about taxes in the nearby towns. He goes and has conferences with kings and queens in other villages, you know, or castles or whatever they, wherever they come from. And the Knight of Swords retains all this information about what he sees, what he hears, the gossip in the town, or what the town folk are saying. And he goes and speaks to the other prestigious people who are in leadership, much like a journalist. And then he goes back and reports to his own king and queen, the king and queen of swords with all this info. And that is how the king and queen of swords know what they know. Okay, so with the Knight of Swords, it's all about gathering info, piecing the puzzle pieces together, chopping out what doesn't serve you, because this is going to avoid a lot of heartache, grief and sadness in your life. Okay, listen to that voice within Taurus and trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Take, take that fearful beast that keeps naysaying you and keeps feeding your ego and telling you the wrong things to do. <laughs> Don't go this way, go that way. That's that's the dramatic side of life. That's what you want. That's probably what your fears are telling you. But your intuition is saying follow the peaceful road. Follow your happiness, Taurus. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.